In January of 2020, the Department of Housing and Urban Development issued guidance related to assistance animals. The guidance is directed at housing providers and clarifies the process they should use to determine if a person's request to have an animal as a reasonable accommodation should be approved. This video, presented by the Equal Rights Center, will help to walk you through that process. Please note, this video is not legal advice, but it may help you to make informed decisions when it comes to approving or denying assistance animal-related reasonable accommodation requests. We recommend that housing providers read the complete guidance to assist with compliance. The website address for the guidance is included at the end of the video. People with disabilities have a right to make reasonable accommodation requests under the Fair Housing Act. A reasonable accommodation is a change to a rule, policy, practice, or service that provides a person with a disability equal opportunity to use and enjoy their home. One example of such a request is for someone to keep an animal in their home that would normally not be allowed. So how should housing providers determine whether or not to approve these requests? To determine whether or not to approve this request, first, you'll want to find out if the animal is a service animal. A service animal is a specific type of assistance animal that's trained to do work or perform tasks for the benefit of a person with a disability. Only dogs and miniature horses qualify as service animals. However, not all dogs and miniature horses are service animals. Only those that are trained to do work or perform tasks related to a person's disability qualify. Sometimes it is readily apparent that a dog is a service animal. For example, in the case of seeing eye dogs for people who are blind. Other times, it's not so obvious. In those situations, you can ask the individual, is the animal required because of a disability? And what tasks or tasks is the animal trained to perform? If the person answers yes and tells you what task their animal performs, then it is a service animal and the person's request to have the animal in their home as a reasonable accommodation should be granted. If the person says that the animal is not trained to perform any tasks, then it is not a service animal. However, it may be another type of assistance animal. An assistance animal is any animal, not just a dog or miniature horse, that works, performs tasks, assists, or provides therapeutic emotional support for individuals with a disability. Always remember, assistance animals are not pets. Residents with assistance animals should never be charged pet fees or deposits and cannot be subjected to breed or weight restrictions. To determine if an animal is an assistance animal, ask yourself, does the person requesting the accommodation have an observable disability? And is this request related to that disability? If the individual does not have an observable disability and you do not already have information regarding their disability, you may ask that the person making the request provide documentation of their disability. Documentation can come in many forms. Some examples of documentation may include, but are not limited to, determination of disability from a government agency, proof of government benefits related to a disability, eligibility for housing assistance related to a disability, or verification by a medical professional. You may also ask that the individual provide documentation that their animal provides therapeutic emotional support related to that disability. Again, documentation can come in many forms. That said, documentation such as a certificate or a registration from the internet alone may not be sufficiently reliable. However, please keep in mind that many legitimate licensed healthcare providers do offer remote services online. These legitimate services can be considered as one example of reliable documentation. A final question to ask yourself is whether the animal is commonly kept in households. If it is, then the animal qualifies as an assistance animal, and the reasonable accommodation request should be granted. If it is not, then the person requesting the accommodation has the burden of demonstrating a disability-related need for that specific animal or that specific type of animal, and they are encouraged to submit documentation confirming that need. If they do so, then the reasonable accommodation request should be granted as well. In some cases, a person or household will need more than one assistance animal. If an individual demonstrates a disability-related need for multiple animals, or if the household consists of multiple people with disabilities, 
each of whom requires an animal, then the reasonable accommodation requests should be granted. We hope this video will help you to better assess requests for assistance animals in an equitable manner. However, please be sure to read the complete guidance. If you have any questions, please contact the Equal Rights Center. We can be reached by phone at 202-234-3062 or by email at info at equalrightscenter.org. For additional fair housing resources, including a one-page resource specifically designed to walk housing providers through this guidance, please head to our website, equalrightscenter.org. Thanks for watching.